this could have been prevented. We know how to protect the perimeter of the U.S. Capitol grounds. Four years ago at the inauguration, January 2017, as Secretary of Homeland Security, I had overall responsibility for the security of that event. I used to tell people in Homeland Security, don't just plan for the last attack, be prepared to think about the next attack. What happened the other day was, frankly, a failure to anticipate the obvious. There are a number of viral videos on social media that seem to suggest that some, certainly not all, of law enforcement had a certain kinship, if not camaraderie, with the mob that was storming the Capitol. Well, it has certainly been my experience that law enforcement, they're dedicated, they're professional, they're prepared to put their own lives on the line. And I think we need to examine whether there is a strand of law enforcement that somehow did not take this sufficiently serious. If you are looking at what happened this week and you're looking down the barrel of the next 12 days, what needs to happen? I don't think that the tragedy the other day was it. I think we have to be very concerned for another uh, match being lit, more kerosene being thrown on the fire, and so they've, they've got to be vigilant. A lot of people are going to hear your comments and they are going to be scared for the incoming president. Are you scared? I'm, I'm very worried about the next 12 days. If I were still in office and I had the ability, which I don't, to influence the personal behavior of this president, I'd be saying, frankly, you've got a limited amount of time to not damage the situation further. Get on Marine One right now. Go to Mar-a-Lago and don't come back. Will you be able to breathe a sigh of relief after the president-elect has put his hand on the Bible and sworn to uphold the oath of office? In many respects, yes. But Trumpism, that strand of people we saw raid and loot the U.S. Capitol are not going away. And there are millions of people who right now believe that the election was stolen from them, believe all the fake news that is out there. There's a strand of people prepared to take to the streets on behalf of Donald Trump. This was Trumpism boiled over and Donald Trump lit the match.